What's good YouTube? Welcome back guys. Here we are, another day and another car ride. I'm just opening the garage door and let's go ahead guys and begin today's video. Look, I made six figures the last couple of months, 12 months I believe or less, in one stock and one stock only. And basically guys, I wanna share with you the lessons that I learned. Believe it or not, every trade that I take has a lesson involved. Uh, you know, this trade I actually made publicly and privately, and it was multiple trades, but it was the same stock. And I guess I want to just share with you the lessons that I learned here, and hopefully you can take something from this uh, video. But before I begin, smash that like button if you want more of these car uh, videos, because uh, you also get to see some Dubai views while I drive around and usually end up parking somewhere, which is what I'm going to do, because I want to focus on you. Um, look guys, this is Marathon Digital Holdings. We actually ended up making two trades on that, big trades, um, the last eight months or so. One of those trades was shared publicly and this trade was shared, I think, just less than six months ago. And we ended up pulling $50,000 initially. And recently in this crash that I spoke about, we ended up pulling another $50,000 because Marathon Digital Holdings dipped from $20 all the way down to 13. Guess what? We were there. I was there in that trade alongside some of you privately. Okay? And my lesson here, guys, and this is very important, whether you're a beginner trader or advanced trader, the lesson here is important, guys. You have to time the market. If you want to put all your money in that trade, and that's exactly what I did because it was a large trade. That's why you see 50,000 trade because I had quarter of a million or so or over that in one position, okay? And I wouldn't have been happy with putting that money in there fully invested in one stock if I didn't believe in that stock. So I had to believe in that stock. But even if I believe in that stock, I had to buy it cheap. It was a must. Buying something cheap is a requirement when swing trading. Like you could add 20% of your capital in a trade that you believe it's not really what you wanna pay for. But if I wanna pay fully for that and all my capital in a company, I wanna get it at a good price, okay? And that's, I guess one of the lessons here is timing. And that's why I told you guys the last couple of uh, videos, there's a crash coming, take advantage. Sure, we dipped 15%, now we recovered. And I ended up closing a lot of positions. We ended up making a few percentages here and there on this dip. Nobody makes money during a crash or a correction. We did it, you guys did it, because of course you timed it right by following me and listening to these car videos. Um, but now I'm telling you guys, we're back to the same valuations because the market's rebounded. So we have to kind of pull back and say, I'm not paying full price for this. I need to make sure the market pulls back before I pay uh, or buy in, into the market again. And th that's kind of when I'm making this video and the NASDAQ is around 17,700 NASDAQ composite. You're saying to yourself, it's still overvalued. I have to wait. The most important lesson here is timing. If you want to make a lot of money like I did in this trade specifically, you have to time it properly. Okay. Like, I know as a beginner, you see a stock and you say, let me just throw money at it because it's hot. I've been there. I've seen Apple and Apple is like a big name. And we said, oh, Apple will always go up. Let's just buy it. Then you buy Apple, but Apple is ready to dip. But you didn't time it because you were so uh, aggressive. You just wanted to be in a trade. And that's the wrong decision, guys. That's the wrong move when it comes to uh, investing. So the most important lesson here it's timing, you have to time the market, okay? That's when you make your money, it's when you buy a stock, not when you sell it. So, the next lesson, and that's very important as well, is when you time a trade, or when you time the market, you also have to learn to exit the market. Like, you make 20%, and maybe you made this 20% on a rebound, right, after a big dip. You had to take that money. You know, you've like there's a rebound, it might be a dead cap bounce. So you have to know your exit as well. And that's a very important aspect of trading is 
you time the market right now you have to time it right one more time by exiting sure you leave money on the table okay but have you seen me guys cry over leaving money on the table no because history tells us or experience tells us that leaving money on the table it's okay because majority of the time you're right because then the market ends up pulling back and correcting itself one more time and this is the current period that you're in where leaving money on the table it's okay you have to be extra conservative because the markets are all-time high maybe they've already priced in interest rate cuts etc etc so two lessons from this trade guys is that you, number one you have to time the market properly and of course I in in uh, well the first trade where we made fifty thousand dollars we timed the market properly let me park here for you guys so we can discuss this we timed the market properly and we bought in around fourteen dollars and sold around eighteen dollars that was a few months ago on marathon digital holdings and this time just a few days ago we also timed up properly we timed the market we bought in at again thirteen dollars or we started at fifteen and then scaled into to fourteen and thirteen and ended up selling it at 16 or so and again we timed the market right that uh, right there and then because after that first sell at 16 dollars a few months ago or 18 dollars the market went or the, the the stock went to 30 dollars did i chase it i don't i can't remember i don't think i chased that stock i went into different stock now it's the same case scenario we're 16 dollars now we're saying to ourselves is it going to go to 30 dollars or is it going to continue dipping well you have to be stubborn you have to say i make money when i when i buy cheap and now is the time for buying things cheap because the markets are a little bit shook okay so it's it's this these are the two important lessons guys time in the market on entry time in the market on exit you have to believe in yourself believe in this trade and if you believe in the trade you still have to be stubborn when paying the price i'm very stubborn when it comes to paying the price of a certain stock because this is my hard-earned money guys i'm not going to pay premium for a stock um if this is a bull market and then the stars align and everybody has money and etc i will pay premium i don't care but it's not it's, it's a shook market it's, a, it's, a, it's an uncertain economy that we're in right so you have to be very selective and you have to be very extra careful so that's all i wanted to do here guys and let me just end it by showing you my face um, is just give you an idea of how I pulled the hundred thousand dollars on Marathon Digital Holdings. It was, I believe, two or three trades. Okay, so let's leave it here as always, and appreciate you guys for watching. Peace and love. And if you want more of these videos, don't forget to smash that like button. Bye.